Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and this week's nursery tour. We have got some fantastic shrubs to share with you and a gorgeous new delivery of fall color. If you are uh, close by to us, we are North Carolina zone 7B just west of Charlotte and you have been paying attention to the weather forecast. You might know that I know Thursday, September 22nd is the first day of fall. It's gonna be quite toasty here on Thursday, but Friday and Saturday and the rest of the following days are going to be absolutely spectacular. It is going to feel like fall, cool air, dry air. So this is going to be a fantastic time to come in and get some uh, plants for your garden and then be outside and enjoy all of this delicious, gorgeous weather. Now, Fall is a great time to add your perennials, trees, and shrubs because that way they have all winter to get their roots really well established before next summer's heat hits. So if you're looking at, you know, adjusting, tweaking your landscape with some of those bigger items, the perennials, trees, and shrubs, now is a great time to be planting and getting these plants and getting them in the ground. One of our best sellers, we love this plant. This is Sunshine Ligustrum. It is a beautiful evergreen shrub that will be easily maintained anywhere from three to six feet tall, really bright green, like chartreuse color. The more sun it gets, the more yellow and bright and vibrant it is. If you don't get enough sun, it will turn just a beautiful shade of green. So I know that some people have said, well, mine's not really bright. It's probably because it's not getting enough sun. These are, let's see, I know that you people do love your tags. So let's see if Jerry can come in here and show you this tag for the Sunshine Ligustrum. It is going to be hardy in zones 6 to 10. And there you go. If you need some more information, feel free to go to southernlivingplantcollection.com and look up Sunshine Ligustrum. It is a great one. One of the other fun shrubs that we got in last week's shipment was this gorgeous Temple of Bloom um, from Proven Winners. This is a seven sun flower. I'll let Jerry zoom in here on a second here on that tag. Again, if you want tons of specific information, go to provenwinners.com. Simply type in the title of the plant and it will um, show you and give you all the information you could possibly want about this plant. Now, this is going to be really like a tree. It has kind of the same habit and, and look of what like a crepe myrtle would, where it's going to be a multi-trunk um, plant. It is going to be in sun to part shade. It is going to be hardy in zones five to nine because it's going to be six to ten feet tall and wide. So as it grows, you limb it up so it has this beautiful canopy and you can see its gorgeous trunks. Now, Temple of Bloom is a really fun plant because it has um, gorgeous white flowers that the pollinators absolutely love. One of our great customers and friends, Tina, sent me a picture and she was like, Jenny, my Temple of Bloom is stunning. Pollinators are covering it. Um, and then it has really fun fall color. So it has great fall color. Like some crepe myrtles, the trunk will peel. So I know like our Natchez's on the front of our house, right in, in front of our house, the bark peels. This will do the exact same thing. So if you're looking for a small tree at mature size, you really might want to consider this Temple of Bloom. Really fun. You can see it's got lots of beautiful new growth on it these light colored um, leaves with some red on the tips. That is all brand new foliage. But you can see that it does have multiple trunks in it. So as it grows, we just limb it up and um, let all the beautiful foliage up top have all the fun. We did not even talk about in last week's video, but they went like crazy. These are Fire Chief Arborvitae. It is a non-branded plant. That's why it's in a black pot, meaning that it's not you know, put out there by a certain plant company. You should be able to find these, but Fire Chief Arborvitaes are a fantastic evergreen shrub that like all Arborvitaes, you can see it has this beautiful kind of this coppery red um, tips to it. As the temperatures go down, this whole plant on the outside is gonna take on that copper look. Now you can see it's not dead because in the middle where the cooler temperatures and the um, 
doesn't get down into it. It's a beautiful green. So this is definitely one of those plants. It's very soft to the touch. It's not like a cedar where it pokes you and is hard. Um, very soft to the touch. Makes a beautiful mound. You don't really have to trim it. I think it's like a three by three manageable size on that. And, um, but it's a great as a foundation plant. So if you're looking for a nice evergreen plant that brings you fall color interest, winter interest, then the Fire Chiefs might be a great option for you. Another really fun tree um, is this Stellar Ruby Magnolia, Magnolia from um, the Southern Living Plant Collection. And this fun plant, Jerry, can you get that tag for me so they can see? So this is a beautiful, evergreen tree that is hardy in zones seven to nine so it is for the south this is also called a banana shrub because i don't have a bloom on one right now i think those sold but when the blooms open up and they are mature they smell like ripe bananas it is the craziest thing ever to have this beautiful little like saucer magnolia bloom on it that smells like a ripe banana but this is a great option something fun something different stellar ruby they start out creamy white and then they turn that beautiful kind of that mauvey rose color um come on over here of course we still have you know lots of other the same things that we've had before um wanted to share again in case you missed it last week we have got Pufferfish hydrangea. So pufferfish, brand new to the market from Proven Winners. It is what they consider an improved, beefed up version of Bobo. So this hydrangea is panicle hydrangea, massive, massive white blooms on it. Um, it is hardy in zones three to eight. So if you're in the south like us at a 7B, if you can give it a little afternoon shade, that would be great. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to make sure it gets nice and watered, well taken care of. But you've got those gorgeous creamy white blooms and then on the tips, they'll do this little, I don't even know how to, little filigree extra bloom. It's really, really fun. And at three to five feet tall and wide, it is very manageable and can go in a variety of places. So. We have those available here so you can come and get them the gardenias the steady as we go steady as she goes do we even have any more of those they sold out so if you saw last week's nursery tour we have um, we did have the new gardenia from proven winners gorgeous one currently has sold out we are growing it so we will have it definitely in the spring and summer if we find it available as a you know as a finished product we will bring it back in but for now just a little update those are gone pearl glams let's go look at pearl glams pearl glam is a beauty berry and beauty beauty berries are um their main interest is this time of year, and I think you can probably see why. So Pearl Glam, these are native plants. Let me get all my information here for you. Um, in the fall, this is when they have their most spectacular show. They are going to be a full sun plant, hardy in zones 5 to 8, 4 to 5 feet tall and wide. And they do, um, they bloom on new growth. So as in the early spring, um, they are deciduous, but in the early spring when they're flushing out, you know, their new leaves, they will start to bloom at the base, I say at the base of a stem, really small little white flowers. Those white flowers, as the season goes on, will turn into these purple berries. That is why it is called a beauty berry. And these berries just get more intense purple, very iridescent, gorgeous gorgeous color on these um, so really fun again think of four seasons of interest and this one will give you you know your spring summer and fall the foliage also will turn a beautiful shade um, nice fall hues to it so that is a great option um, that extends into the late fall early winter season so now Let's go on, um, give you an update while we're passing by. The, the, the trough here is just, uh, yeah, it is really, really full. If you will remember, we planted this in the spring. We have the Wicked Witch Coleus, the new Watermelon Coleus, 
the climbing sweet potato vines, something that's chewing on it. Um, so that's all right, it's the end of the season. I'll just let the little critters chew on it, it'll be okay. And then the portulaca. Portulaca is really fun because it, um, Jerry says no sun. Um, the blooms open and close with the sun. So you can see right now, they are closed up pretty tight, but here in just a little bit, once the sun gets on them, they will open up to these massive, huge blooms and the honeybees will be all over it. So I just wanna give you an update so you can see how massive it is. Um, those are all annuals. So once the cool weather hits or they start looking really bad, then we just pull them out because they are annuals. Look at this, update on this. This is the evening rose, sum summerific evening rose. And it is just a fantastic perennial hibiscus, massive, huge, really deep pink blooms on it. Nice, dark, deep foliage. And these plants have just done magnificently well. They're not on irrigation, but they do, when we water the plants outside of the nursery, that water kind of trickles down this way. And man, they are doing great. So inside is where we have all of the fall color. You can see that we have, we did make that other run to get more plants. So we've got, this whole table is nothing but beautiful pansies, just as I suspected. Uh, Ms. America mustard sold out like crazy in the first weekend. We got lots more. The mustards and your kales, those kinds of plants, your cabbages, they're gonna continue to produce growth throughout the season. When you have an, a, a stalk like this, you'll notice it's on the very outside. Clearly it is not a, you know, a new healthy uh, leaf on that. So what we do is we just come in and just break it off because it's gonna continually make new foliage that's get nice and thick. So every once in a while, you just gotta go in there and clean it up. It's not a big deal. Your plant's not dying. This is just what they do. So they make a great filler, thriller kind of accent in your containers or your landscape, either one. But we've got tons of different pansies. We've got mixes. Look at this is neon violet. Look at that bloom on that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice, deep, rich purple. Looks really like velvet. We've got the blotches. This is a really fun one. If you remember, we did, um, on the violas, we have beacon rose. Well, this is beacon rose in a pansy, really soft, creamy white, um, that pink rose mauve with that yellow throat in it, gorgeous colors. So, and that would pair, of course, fantastically well with that mustard. Um, if you wanted to pair it like the violas, then this is, um, it says an amber mix, so it has nice soft shades of yellow. So you could do that. Um, just tons of options. We do have, of course, um, still have our perennials. So like this is Magnus. This is the purple coneflower. Absolute classic plant that is a wonderful late season bloomer. Great for your garden. Great for your pollinator um, population in your garden. These are hardy in zones three to eight and they're gonna to get to be about three feet tall, two feet wide. So if you're looking to add in some perennials, these are great options. And then we're gonna mosey on over here, but look at these um, mums. Huge, massive color on them, just doing really, really well. We've got the oranges, the purples. Look at the purple here, isn't that pretty? How lovely that is. The purples, reds, yellows, oranges. We've got a few whites left over, I think, doing, doing great. And then we have the violas. Violas, the Johnny Jump Ups, if you will remember. Little smaller blooms on them, but there's more blooms per plant. This is a fun new color. It kind of reminds me of that royal velvet. This is called Denim Jump Up. Look at those sweet little faces on that. Isn't that great? So sweet. Um, you could pair it with white, you could pair it with yellow if you wanted to, or just do it by itself. And it would just, they would be so fun and sweet. And of course the citrus mix, lots of different shades of yellows, kind of creamy whites, 
oranges in there, really bright. All of your yellow colors are gonna pop out even more. The pollinators love them. We've got a bumblebee over there, but lots of fun options for you here at the nursery. So we are open Wednesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, we, our last day of closing is Saturday, November 19th. Don't worry, the videos will still continue to come. It's just that our retail um, area will be closed so that we can get recharged, refocused, get some projects done before we back, open back up into the spring and of course, growing plants, right? So we've got lots of fun things from now until then planned. As always, we so appreciate you. Thank you for all your love and support. Y'all have a great day. Happy gardening. We'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.